So, um, Representative Trent Franks, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows he had to resign. Um, he was out of the 8th District in Phoenix, Arizona, the 8th Congressional District in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, he had to resign, um, or actually he didn't have to resign, he chose to resign, it looks like. Um, he was involved in a slight scandal, you know, which is uh, not surprising given the current climate of, um, you know, the world, I guess, you know, specifically here in America with all the sexual harassment, sexual assault uh, allegations that have been flying around towards everybody. He got caught up in the storm as well. Um, all except it looks, you know, he, he looks to be pretty guilty because he actually resigned before anybody even knew why he had to resign. Um, he resigned the day before the news actually broke of why he was going to be resigning. Um, turns out that he offered at least one, um, possibly two different uh, f female subordinates uh, under him. Um, he, now, the way he's framing it is saying that he um, wanted them to be uh, the surrogates for his children. Because apparently his mom, or I'm sorry, his wife, um, was, you know, she had issues, you know, delivering children. Um, and so I guess previously in the past they had used a surrogate, so they wanted to have more children. So um, he took it upon himself to ask two people that work for him. And uh, one of one of the women even went as far as to say that he offered her five million dollars um, to be his surrogate. Now, if it was just that, I think it's inappropriate to you know discuss those things at work. But I don't think it would be as big of a deal. Um, I don't think that would necessarily be something that you would have to resign over. What I do think, however, is the way he proposed the surrogacy is most likely the reason he had to resign. This is speculation at this point, but I'm almost positive, I'm willing to bet, that the reason why he has to resign is because it wasn't just surrogacy, I'm sure it was the method of impregnating the woman that she had the problem with. Um, that's just, you know, that part is my speculation, because uh, that hasn't come out yet, but um, I, I definitely think um, that that there was more to it than just him saying, hey, me and my wife would like to have more children and we were wondering if you could carry the baby for us. I'll give you $5 million if you do it. Pretty sure that there's more to the story than that. Again, I'm willing to bet that it's it's the method of conception that uh, she had the issue with. So, um, But that is great news for us. I don't know if you can see the t-shirt in the background. It says Brianna Westbrook, 2018. Uh, that is the Justice Democrat candidate who was previously running to uh, running against Trent Franks. Um, but since he resigned, we now have a special election that's going to be uh, in February. Uh, that will be for the primary, uh, for the Democratic primary. That's going to take place in February. And the general election is going to take place in April. So April 24th is the exact date. I'm pretty sure it's February 24th as well for the um, for the special primary um so brianna westbrook she's again she's a justice democrat she uh, i have her entire platform right here actually this is brianna um she's uh trying to create college grants for women pursuing careers in science engineering and technology championing to protect women against job discrimination working to protect women's reproductive rights, eliminate racial injustices for women of color, support legislation to end domestic and sexual violence against women. As far as education, supporting free tuition, community college and state universities, uh, forgive student loans for current teachers, support school involvement for civic engagement, protect the arts as an integral part of educational curriculum, enact legislation to pay teachers a living wage commensurate with their educational responsibilities, engage in supporting low-income schools with funding to promote replenishing retiring educators, renewable energy, um, you know, green technology. I don't want to go through all the bullet points, but she, um, again, she's adopting the People's Platform. Everyone go to her website. It's westbrook2018.com. Um, 
if you live in the 8th district of Phoenix, Arizona, and you happen to see this video, please go to our website, sign the petition. If not, um, you might see me at your door. Not in a threatening way, of course, but uh, we will be knocking on doors um, to gather these signatures because this is something that Arizona desperately needs. We need to turn AZ blue. Um, everyone who liked Bernie, you should vote for Brianna Westbrook, period. Um, so um, I'm a proud member of uh, her campaign team and um, you know we're gonna get her in office and then we're gonna keep her in office once November comes around and then we have to run it back all over again. So um, I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, check out the other videos. Make sure you check out the podcast. Uh, you can subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, or you can watch right here on YouTube. Um, thank you very much. Uh, turn AZ Blue, people for Brianna. Let's get it.